Hi everyone, Christina here. Today I'll be sharing with you another watercolor technique. Today I'm going to be showing you a dry brush technique. I don't think I've ever shown this in a video before or maybe not on purpose, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of a fun technique and it's a fun way to get different type of images on your projects. So you want to have a fairly thick paint. You don't want it to be too watery. And the first thing you're gonna do is load up your brush and then on a scratch paper or just something that you're not gonna be needing, you kinda of wanna just take a little bit of that paint off your brush. So you're gonna kinda of swipe it across and then you can start painting and you'll get more kind of a textured look. This is where your cold press or textured watercolor paper can really come into play because you can really see all of that nice texture on the paper. So you won't have quite the same look on hot press or smooth papers. It'll look, look a little bit more like that scratch paper I've been using. But when you use a more textured watercolor paper, you're going to see that fun, rough texture of the surface of that cold press watercolor paper. So I'm just doing a bunch of stripes. I'm using a kind of a square shaped flat brush for this. And now I'm gonna do another dry brush technique where I'm gonna kind of do blades of grass. So I've switched to a round brush. I think this is a size, it's either two or four round brush. And I'm just gonna kind of do little spikes of grass coming up from kind of a center point. And I'm doing some shorter ones now and then I'm gonna extend them and make them a little bit longer because I want this grass to be pretty high. I'm planning to put a stamped bunny over the top. So I wanna make sure that there's enough of that grass coming out above the top of the bunny. So I'm just dry brushing all of that on and get a really fun texture. So now I'm gonna work on the images for the card. I'm using stamped images from Simon Says Stamps Some Bunny Stamp Set. This is a stamp set that I illustrated and I kind of really wanted to paint this one and make a little kind of Easter type card. So for this striped egg, I'm doing kind of a similar technique to what I showed you in Monday's video, which was a graded wash. I started with more intense color on one side of the egg, and then I dipped my brush in water and then came back to my project and kind of let that more diluted paint sort of fade out to the other side of the egg. So I did that for each of the colors and um, I kind of skipped the colors in between so that I didn't have any of them bleeding into each other. Next I painted that polka dot egg and I just did three different colors and they went on pretty intense and they didn't kind of match the more faded colors of the other egg. So I brought in a paper towel and just kind of stamped that paper towel over the top and that took away some of the color. So these sunglasses here, I thought it'd be kind of fun to include them over top of the bunny, and they are sized to go over the top, but you'll notice that in the end in the finished card that I did not put the sunglasses on. I think I just forgot <laughs> to put them on, and I went back to glue them on at the you know after I had finished filming and could not find them. I think they accidentally made their way to the circular file folder, <laughs> which we call a trash can. So I, um, I wasn't able to save the sunglasses, but they are sized to fit over that bunny if you want to do it that way. So as far as the bunny goes, I painted just some flat washes of pale pink, and then I used a really diluted gray color to add some shading. This is going to make the bunny look white. This is a very similar or the exact same technique that I used on that Pegasus slash unicorn in my last card video. So just use a little bit of gray to add some shading, but it makes it so it looks like the, the figure is white. So I've cut down that dry brush watercolor sheet. Um, I originally was going to have that bunny kind of off to one side. So at this point I'm using a mini misty tool to stamp my sentiment in Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'm using a misty tool in particular because, you know, as we discovered before, this texture on this paper is really quite strong. And these are really dainty letters. And so I wanted to make sure that they stamped cleanly. So I'm using my scissors and cutting out all of the images. And after I cut them out, I used a black brush tip marker to sort of paint the edges. This is going to eliminate any of the white that's in between the line of the image and where I've cut it. And it gives it a little bit more of a professional look. 
The card base I'm using today is made out of Nina Solar White cardstock. I've scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then I cut down that striped dry brush piece into a narrow strip and adhered that down onto the edge of the front of the card using some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. Now I'm gonna take that other pink background that I did in the previous video, and I've also just cut that to a little bit of a more narrow strip. This is going to um, completely cover the front of the card so that I can put that uh, bunny watercolor piece over the top. So watercolor paper, um, unless it's labeled like bright white or something like that, they're actually more of a warm cream color. So it's hard to match the card base to the watercolor paper. So when I'm working on cards with watercolor paper, I tend to cover, um, like if it has large white areas like this, I like to cover the entire card front with some other color so it's not as obvious that it doesn't match the white of the card base, if that makes sense. If it's um, a like a complete color wash from edge to edge and you can't see white, I don't worry about that as much. But for areas like this where you've got lots of white, the wood normally touch the white of the card base, I like you to go ahead and just cover up that card base with something else. So I use some foam adhesive and also some more of that Tombow Extreme Adhesive to adhere the bunny and the eggs. And that finishes the card for today. So that was the second technique in my easy watercolor technique series. I'll have a third one for you on Friday. Until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next card video.